Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, I have plant mail. I'm so excited. This was actually sent to me from my friend Chris. Um, a really interesting story with this plant. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and open it. I already, um, I already opened the top. So, save a little bit of time. It's really exciting because it wasn't actually supposed to be here until tomorrow. So, oh my god, she is so pretty. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out, honey. I'm trying to figure out how to get her out of here. Just trying to see how she's got it. Can you guys see? And I got lips helping me. Oh, I don't know how she's got it in here. We'll see. Oh, okay, I see. Duh. Nice packing job, Chris. Look at that. said this is a Hoya Pubcalyx Splash and this is actually the interesting part of the story is that her and I was talking one night on Instagram and um, I said something about a Hoya Pubcalyx Splash and she says oh I have one of those and I was like, oh, cool. I was looking at one on eBay. And she has a mother plant that is 25 years old. And this was just some pieces that have broken off over the years through repotting and, you know, what have you. And she started this plant from her mother plant that is 25 years old. Isn't that pretty? Wow, it is so pretty. I love the leaf shape. It's gorgeous. Nice big plant. So what I'm going to do is, um, I think I have a pot that I can put her in. I think I'll put it in one of my new pots. I think it should fit good in here. But, I think I need to get some soil. Hold on. Okay, I got my soil. I had to make up some more soil. I had, I didn't have as much as I thought I did. But, no problem. Because I really didn't have a Hoya mixture mixed up. So, I just used my regular soil. And, um, I put extra perlite on it. That's all I use. Oh, 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 it didn't break. It just kind of fell off. Look at the roots on that. Isn't she pretty? Oh, I love those. I love all the speckles. So, I think what I'm going to do... Okay, that looks like the shortest. So, I'm just going to... Well, I need more soil. Yeah, I'm very happy to get this plant, but what makes me even more happy is that it's such an off of them. It's off of such an old plant that she's had for 25 years, she said, at least. You know, I mean, that's, that's great. Look how pretty the leaves are. So pretty. I love the veining in it too and all the little speckles. I'm just going to dig that down. Get that long piece on there. Chris and I actually met through my videos and talked a lot on videos and then um, 
talk a lot on Instagram and so that was how I met her and it's just so, so nice to talk to people about plants and for her to send this to me just really means a lot to me that she would want to take up her her time and her money, you know, for shipping to send me this plant is just so sweet and so nice that it means a lot to me. She is so pretty. I love the looks of this plant. I love Hoyas. I don't have a whole lot of Hoyas. I'm not a super huge Hoya freak. I'm more of a philodendron freak and a uh, Ripsalis freak. <laughs> so, but oh, I love the Hoyas. They are just so pretty. So I've got this in really light airy soil let's see how many okay i got three little tiny pieces that's why i wanted to get the bigger ones in i think this one i will put kind of tuck her down here it looks like she's this one's got a lot of new leaves on it little fuzzies uh-oh hold on okay sorry about that i had to shut my camera off i had our train come by i don't know i'm almost wondering if i shouldn't have put her in a bigger pot this is a six inch pot i probably should have put her in a bigger one but I'm not gonna worry about it if I got a Hoyas like to be kind of tight in their pots so I'll leave her here for now and I'll repot her next summer or whenever so Chris told me she was in a six inch pot so maybe it'll make her feel more like home <laughs> Okay, and then these little ones, I'm just going to kind of stick around in here, kind of like that. Such a pretty Hoya. And I guess I should, um, she had that she's had that plant for a long time but she told she said that somebody told her it was a hoya pubicalyx splash so i don't know it looks like it to me but i don't know that much about hoyas so there there she is in her little pot and i think i have a hanger so I can hang her up, I believe. I don't know if I have any more hanging room, but I'm going to go ahead and give her a drink. She is so pretty. Make sure I get everybody here. I think I'm going to add just a little more soil right in here. Oops. She is all nice and watered. Here's a little dried up spot. I'm going to go ahead and just cut 
cut that off. There. And there we go. I think we are good to go. And I think I know exactly actually where I'm going to put her because I was rearranging some plants yesterday. And oh Miss Nosy, she's always got to see everything. And if any of you guys have a great dane, you know what I'm talking about. They are involved in every aspect of your life. And I mean every aspect of your life. They are so nosy. It's kind of like having a little two or three year old toddler around that uh, <laughs> ah, that just wants to get in and know everything. So, alright guys. Oh, and she made me a tag. Oh yeah, Pubic Alex Splash, or Speckled. So I will put that tag in there. I won't have to make one up. I know exactly what I'm going to do with her. She is super pretty. Wow, what a beautiful plant. Thank you again, Chris, so much. I appreciate it. Um, I love that I have some cuttings from a... 25 year old plant that really is it's just great I love her thank you again for sending her to me I appreciate it and she is gorgeous but alright guys I am going to let you go for now I will talk to you later and you have a great day bye peace